Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about the service called Lifecycle Services from Microsoft. Okay, so this is what you can see. I have already opened up this portal, lcs.dynamics.com. It's a portal provided by the Microsoft and it has uh, so many features in it but uh, today in this video we will learn about one of the feature called translation service right so i hope if you watch my videos then you remember that a uh, few weeks back we learn about uh, cliff files right when we create a business central project uh, system generated this default translation file default cliff file of uh, english us based okay and in case we want to develop our application for multiple localizations and uh, so that every customer around the world can access our application then we have to make our application uh, more linguistic okay so in that manner, uh, in that video, we have seen third party portals called uh, SmartCat, where we generated this file from the VS code. And then we pass this file to the, to the SmartCat portal and which gives us all the localization which we want. Okay. But that was a third party portal. And in case you want to go with the Microsoft service, because we can rely more on the Microsoft product because 365 business central is also or from the Microsoft so we could say the integration is more better we are nowhere saying that SmartCat does not produce a good results but in case you want to go with the Microsoft service then this is the second best option which is available for us of course you can use the SmartCat as well so let's see how to use this LCS portal and uh, how we can uh, translate our default translation uh, default cliff files in multiple languages okay so what I can do I go to my folder okay and uh, if I open this and go to this translation so here is my file so let me first do one thing I place this file in the desktop and to work with the LCS portal First of all, what you need to do is that you need to zip this file. Okay. So let me do like this. So I have zipped this file. Okay. Now open your LCS portal. Click on the translation service. When you click on the translation service, it will open up this tab. Okay. So here you can see all your previous translations will be available to you okay so that you can at any point of time uh, download the results from this portal okay but this time we want to create a new translation so i click on this plus button and here what we can do is that we can define our request name so for example uh, bc youtube tutorial okay okay if i give you some bc translation test okay this name will be uh, good enough let's name it create a space now in the file type you have to select the user interface because we are uh, we want our translations so that any user can work in the user interface and can see the different captions based on the languages in the product name of course we have to select the dynamics nav in the product version we have to select the dynamics 365 business central sas right then in the target source language of course our source language is english us so you have to select this based on whatever uh, whatever your source language cliff file holds so you have to select that language here now in the translation target language you can select multiple uh, translations languages in which you want your cliff files to be translated okay so here you can see all the languages now one thing i would like to tell you that some languages you see in the bold ones and some are in the light one the reason is that uh, microsoft have 
tested these languages okay so uh, we can more rely on these uh, results if we select any of these languages okay these are the standard languages worldwide known languages and uh, it has been tested by the microsoft as well so we can rely on the results for if we select any of these languages but if we select these languages then also there is no problem at all you can select these languages microsoft will give you the better results good translations but of course you can once manually review them all and in case you want to change something you can always change the one okay so what we can do is let me select danish and dutch belgium for it okay and as soon as i select multiple you can see the translation target language is showing here multiple languages and you can read this caption that language name in bold represents dynamic product general availability languages for one or more versions okay so let's click on create button once you click on create button it asks for your confirmation give your confirmation and then it will give you this type of form so here we need to upload our cliff file okay so i you have to click on this plus button go to the browse and click on the desktop where your file is and this is our file okay it is in the zip format don't select this one otherwise you will get an error so you have to click on this click on open okay we are getting an error please select the file with one of the following extensions dot zip okay guys uh, this extension is not showing as zip so let me delete this one i right click it again compress the zip file okay let's see if it works or not click on browse again and let's see this time upload yes confirm so we have seen that in case your file is not in a proper zip format you will find an uh, you will get an error okay so once you are done with your upload then what you have to do is you have to click on the submit button okay and when you click on the submit button and confirm then the processing the translations for all the multiple languages you want will start and as you can see in your dashboard two lines have arrived with the processing state one is for dutch belgium another one is for danish denmark okay so now it will take some 4 uh, to 5 minutes only by the time it uh, finishes off and then you will get your uh, results as well for example if i let refresh the page again and uh, you can see the status is completed okay now if i click on any of the link and now i could see that the request status was this file cliff file and the request output is danish and dutch belgium and from here i can download okay it get downloaded same case i can download this one as well and once you download it will be available in the download folder with this under zip folder now you see it has the two folders and in each folder if you open only one file is there and if you compare these files okay it has the same results okay so you can uh, copy file from any of the folder and use it for your project but yes of course uh, as you can see in the target uh, tag you can see the state is mentioned needs review translation okay so what you can do is you can change it to translated okay before you want to use this file in your real project okay because it's it's not good that you place any file which explicitly mentioned needs review translation so you can review the results and change the state from needs review translation to translated okay so that's how we can use we can make the use of the 
LCS portal and translate our clip files which we uh, uh, develop for our business central apps okay there is one more extension in the VS code if you go here there is one extension called dynamics 365 translation service preview so it is same basically okay the what we have seen uh, in the LCS portal it is same only you can install this and based on your installation this link will be available and it has two columns or you can say uh, like uh, two for uh, two tabs one is resource and one is configuration resource will automatically pick your cliff file from your project okay so for example currently this is the default file so once you generate your default translation file this will automatically be available here in the resource column then you again have to uh, make a check on the languages on which you want uh, your default translation file to be translated you can select like this okay then what you have to do is click on this and submit the translation request so when you click this okay it will give your request to the LCS portal okay so LCS portal will receive your request from this extension via API and start the processing and once the processing finished it will give you the translated files and those translated files will be available here so you can use them okay so these are the two ways through which we can make the use of this Dynamics 365 translation service from the Microsoft okay so it's uh, there are loads of options now available which are automated by nature and we can make the use of them to uh, quickly translate our files for our VC projects so guys uh, this is uh, what I wanted to share with you all in the today's video I hope uh, you you like this video and if you like this I request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video